Hello friends, welcome to the channel RetailConnect.com. So in this session, we will discuss some uh, practice questions of uh, power cell. So which were asked in uh, interview or your at your assessment task. OK, so the task is that let's suppose we have an XML file. You can see here. You can see in this XML file. OK, we have some book. OK, book with book ID 101, book with book ID 102. OK, so like this, we have multiple books details. OK, in XML. So you can see we have up to ID 113. That means 13 books are OK. So the question is that uh, we have to create a program in power cell that if we pass the number of items like suppose I want three. OK, so I want three to break. That means we have to break this single sitemap dot XML file into multiple files and each file will contain with limit of three. So you will have to pass the limit and according to that it will break into separate pages. OK, so that if you will break with three, you will have four into 12 and plus one 13. OK, that means five page, five separate XML pages will be created. OK. So we will. Have. Uh, uh, I show you the code. OK, so you can see file. View. You can see we have a this code here. OK, you can see this is the let limit and the let we have three at limit. OK, so whatever the thing, let's suppose you have a, a, a large number of XML file which contains 50 million of records and you want to break with 1 million. So you can write here 1 million. OK, now your path. OK, so what it will be the path? path OK. And here what we are doing, we are taking the XML content from this path get content with the help of get content and we are um, adding inside any. Root XML OK, so, so we have uh, written like root log root. You can name it anything that you want OK and we created a XML with type XML OK. Now we have created the index I. One OK, which will go for one two up to the limit. OK, now we have a reference empty reference and it will be a new object XML. OK. Now you can see we have a row and the number of records. So XML, this is XML dot select nodes and we are passing the book that means in our sitemap you can see we have the node name book okay so we will put this one here now we have the count total number of count that means we will store 13 because we have 13 of records matching with book okay now we will have a for each loop on rows. OK. Here the loop starts. If index is equal to one, that means index. This index equal to one. So in the starting, we have one. OK. XML insert node. We have created an empty node. OK. With root. Or you can write anything what you want here. OK. And it is a dummy one inside this. OK. So with the help of at the rate equal to uh, quotation and we have written the node root with type XML. OK, and what we did, we have used the reference dot append child. OK, reference dot we have creating the import node. Import node and uh, we have uh, insert node dot document element and we, we are using 
false because we don't need deep one so we are passing the false here we have only using this root one okay so the output will be uh, wrapped inside this root means the books will be uh, not in the root only you will get inside this whatever the thing you will pass it here okay now if the condition starts and ends here if in that case one that means we have started the page one and we have taken the page one and the index is one for that page then we have inserted this root tag okay now next reference dot document element dot append child reference dot import node and the current value okay of this folder we will pass this with true to means that we will have to capture all deep elements as well okay now we will decrement the counter main counter so count okay now we will check here if index is equal to the limit that means this index will be equal to limit then you have to save that file okay that means you will have to save that one file so you can say we have reset we have to reset our index for the next uh, file okay and reference dot save with the output path and this will be your dynamic one file renaming okay and now reference will should have to be empty and if count is less than limit then limit is equal to count this we this works with on the last one let's suppose our limit is 3 but our total record is 13 that means we will get one extra okay for last page okay but uh, that will uh, not match on up to the limit because this there will be the only one so that will not match the limit so we will degrade the limit to 1 for that case for the last page so here what we are doing the same okay and uh, if it is not limit then we have to do the index plus plus okay so this is the simple code which will help you to break your large number of xml into smaller files okay so time to check with power cell press enter okay in the root you can see we have 3 4 5 files that means three record will be inside up to this that means 12 and one will be inside this one okay so you can see the file size as well all are two this is one so try to open so you can see you can see you can see we have the root main tag and inside this we have book 1 book 2 book 3 okay in first one similarly when you go for the second one you will have similarly up to from 4 id5 6 okay similarly on the last you can see we have 13 one okay so this is the code okay to break your large uh, xml file into a smaller one uh, depending on your limit of size and depending on the tag which want uh, which tag you want to consider okay and you have to pass your uh, source and here and your destination okay and this is the dynamic file name whatever the name you can uh, suggest it here okay so in this session this is the thing and uh, in upcoming sessions we will discuss more uh, questions on like this and uh, like this uh, video subscribe our channel thank you for watching